welcome to Badge Skins. In this episode, we're doing a how-to video install for the Fender Badge Badge Skins. So pretty well on this Mark 75R, we're gonna be installing this badge skin here. So it pretty well comes in a package like this. The R's might be separate from the blades, but essentially this is what you're getting. And then we'll just go over the simple how-tos. So obviously the first thing you're gonna do is make sure your badge is super clean. You're gonna use the alcohol wipes that comes with it. You're gonna wipe everything down and then you get a microfiber cloth over it and make sure that you do not let the alcohol dry because it'll obviously leave a little bit of a film. So you always wanna make sure it's super clean. So the easiest part about this install is obviously the R. And then if you have a GTI, obviously the lettering. So it just, it's almost like a generic um, batching install. Today we're working at uh, on at Raw Shooter's car. So we're gonna do change it up a little bit where the R is gonna be a fluorescent yellow. So here's a fluorescent yellow R. We're gonna install this on because this is his color choice. So it's pretty well, just like any other batch things, you're just gonna peel the masking off with the skin off of the backing. And you're just gonna line up. Like you, you don't have to look, like if you go like this, I can still peel it off and realign. But more or less, you just eyeball everything up. Make sure you got a good perimeter of chrome all the way around. And then you just lay it down and tack it down. Once that's done, obviously you gotta peel your masking off at 180 degrees the best that you can. And that's a simple install right there. Now the next step is doing the blade part. And this is the part that, there's one small detail I want everyone to kind of pay attention to. So when you go install this blade part, obviously you're gonna, you're gonna remove the blade portion and everything is gonna be masked off. And there's a cutoff portion here, if you can see, right? That kind of just, avoids that R, because if the masking was there, that R, because it protrudes out, will interfere. So when you install this blade part, start at the back. And literally, you're just gonna meet the same gap that you see from the black here to, to the back of the badge skin. So it's roughly about just under a millimeter that you're gonna tack it down right here. And now you just make sure it's lined up and you just work your way towards the front. You don't have to put much attention to pull it forward because obviously this is a very small, delicate piece at this section here. But once you get past the front of the R, now you can give it a bit of attention so that you can easily align it and just run your finger through it and make sure that you get the point proper. So start from here, about, just about a millimeter to a little bit less, and then work your way from back to front, give it a bit of tension so that you can line everything up while you're tacking down the vinyl. As you can see, this is pretty spot on. So at this point on, just double check that everything's tacked down, and then off the masking 180 degrees and that's it it's a very simple install okay here it is everyone the badge skin for the fender blade badge very simple you got your regular R which would be GTI GTD anyways it's very simple to install but just remember the importance of lining this end up and going forward but if you take a look at this this looks pretty sweet Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.